couple of years ago, my wife and I uh, were leaving Wisconsin for the winter. Uh, we had just retired. And so we were on a trip to go to Texas, actually. And we stopped along the way in a small town in Louisiana. We um, pulled into a microbrewery. There was a, a guy in the bar and we just sat there and talked for about an hour or so at least. And then my wife came in, um, int uh, introduced Lynn, my wife, to Hugh. And after a little bit, he said he had to go home. So I said, you sure you got to go? He goes, yeah. He says, I have to go home and go on dialysis. His kidneys had failed, he was stage four renal failure. And he casually just said, I'm looking for a kidney. And I immediately said, I can give you one of mine. Um, and I could say that uh, that quickly because I had a sister-in-law that had donated a kidney about 14 years ago. So I knew you could donate. And also uh, a little over 40 years ago, our first son had, uh, had died and was on life support. He was only 15 months old. And all those years that had come up in conversation that um, my wife especially had always wished we could have donated his organs once we found out about organ donation. I knew in that instant that um, it was something I could do to, I wouldn't say make up for it, but be able to, to fulfill that wish that my wife had. It, it sounds kind of strange to say all those thoughts were in my head at the same time and, and it happened so quickly, but that's really what happened. Um, when, when Hugh said he, he needed a kidney, I just knew that I could do that and I wanted to do that. And so that's how it started. Little did I know the later, as I started to learn about how to donate to Hugh, that there was such an urgent and dire need. I didn't realize there were literally basically 100,000 people right now today in this country looking for a kidney. The bike rides that came afterwards were, were a function of, of trying to share what we learned and share about this dire need. And we, my wife and I both just feel that it's a solvable problem. I mean, as, stra as crazy as that might sound, um, the numbers prove that, that if we wanted to in this country, if enough people learned about it, possibly, and enough people cared enough that there wouldn't be any people on the wait list, let alone dying. Um, he got his kidney February 18th, and I started my ride uh, the end of April, April 24th from Madison. So I got into Natchitoches on May 11th, and we met. And it's the second time Hugh and I had met, but the first time I met without a, him without my kidney, and the first time I met him with his kidney. So that was uh, very important to me to be able to finish it finish it healthy. And, um, and then of course, meet you at the end was just total icing on the cake. It's just unbelievable what you can do to change somebody's life.